So today I want to talk to you about Wendy Williams. She is at it again. I mean, she is at it again. What did she do this time? What she always does, runs her mouth, and people are just really tired of it, really tired of it. Okay, so this episode, she's talking about Meghan Markle, okay? The newly engaged to Prince Harry, Meghan Markle. Now, I, for some reason, I am obsessed with Meghan. I'm obsessed. Like, I might even be stalker obsessed. I just love her. I love her, love her, love her. I think she's pretty. She brings like a fresh breath air, you know, to the stuffy royals. Is that mean? They are a little stuffy. But I like her and Harry. They are relatable and I just really, really like them. And you have to admit, they seem extremely happy. And this is their moment. This is their time to shine. I mean, according to everyone else except for Wendy Williams. Here she is on her haterade again. So she's doing her hot topics as she always does, and she goes into bashing people as she always does. She said that Megan was looking for fame. <laughs> okay, like she's like, not here, nor there, she was no big deal, but she's like, Prince Harry is her come up. <sighs> okay, first of all, She's an American, Megan, and you should just be proud that, you know, someone from this country, you know, made it kind of big over there. But it was a real insult, okay? She's not a come up. She's acting like she's just uh, some kind of fame whore going around and lucked up and got the prince. That's a very, very insult. Like, and Twitter went crazy. Everyone started tweeting. Everyone was pissed because it was really, really, really disrespectful what she said. And, and on top of being so unnecessary. Like, why couldn't you just say she got engaged to the prince and that's it? Why do you have to call her a fame whore? And this is a bad time to call her a fame whore because number one, she's not a fame whore. She have her, had her own career, her own life. No. She found love, just like everyone else. But another reason why you probably shouldn't be talking like this is because you're going through your own scandal, okay? Remember, your husband doesn't like you anymore? <laughs> Remember he's having an affair and you're all in the news. Don't you wanna lay low, be quiet, go in, do your job, come home, stop, be or are you a hater? Is Wendy a hater? Is, it, is Wendy ha a hater because it looks like Megan found love and, you know, her husband found another girlfriend, you know, of 10 years. I'm thinking you might be a hater, Wendy, and you don't even realize you're a hater. You're a hater because things are kind of going bad for you. No offense. You know, you're all, you've been all on, you know, over the tabloids. But listen, you've got to stop bashing, Megan. Do not. It's unnecessary. I don't understand why you're calling her a fame whore. It, it's unnecessary, it's rude, and it's not true. So you might want to stop it before you start losing fans. I'm just saying, I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you out. You have other things to do. You really got to go, you know, find out where Kevin is right now. Make sure he's not with, you know, Sharina. Is that mean? That's not mean. That's not mean. That's true. You've got your own problems. Stop stirring up new trouble, Wendy. I'm just saying, that's what I would do. But, you know, who am I? She'll probably do it again tomorrow and then the next day after that. Some, you know, some people just never learn. I'm going to have to put Wendy's name on that list. Let me know in the comments section if you think Wendy is jealous and being a hater. Or if she, you know, was, if you think Megan's a fame whore. That's horrible. No, don't, don't let me know if you think she's a fame whore because she's not. Anyway, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you next time. Bye.